the beginning part of the movie where they do the whole climbing wall thing but change the climbing wall in a strange way um for like you know 35 seconds they you could like make the argument that percy was somewhat in character to actual percy because he you know jumps down to save someone i forget who who is falling um and because of that he doesn't win but then that immediately ends as soon as he starts talking and you find out that he is the weakest little baby bitch in the entire world and his entire storyline is oh clarice is better at all of these things than me i'm so jealous that she gets to go on all of these quests and i don't get to go and i'm a one hit wonder and my dad doesn't talk to me and why won't anybody pay it i will punch you <laughs> like he's yeah. the most like pathetic human being ever like are you kidding like there's there's so many things wrong with how they present quests anyway like they act like they're just like going on like a fun vacation mm -hmm. and i'm like no they're like trying not to get murdered <laughs> the entire time they're on these quests they're like people are genuinely afraid to go on them because they're traumatic and scary and but they act like it's like just fun things to do yeah but i just died when i realized that his entire arc for this movie is that he is jealous that everybody likes Clarice more because she is able to do all these things that he can't do and is like crying about that and I was just like this is supposed to be Percy like actual Percy would be fine with that he would be good he would be so happy with Clarice being able to do everything like that the idea that he wants to go on the quest because he's jealous that she gets to do everything and he doesn't get to do anything i'm like why are you such a little dick <laughs> like i don't even know what to say it was just so pathetic especially when he was like dad why won't you talk to me and i'm like because you're a baby mm -hmm. you're more immature than 13 year old walker scobell the actor not even the character that he's playing <laughs> like at this point what is going on <laughs> deserve to get punched in the throat for being like a stereotypical man yeah like rick riordan would like cry himself to sleep if he saw his character hopefully he's never actually had to see any of that <laughs> see yeah. like his character being depicted that way because that's just so not that's so not him and it's just like so strange to just that whole back and forth of like, oh, Clarice is obviously number one, but I'm upset about that because I'm a man and I, because there's no other reason why. It's like, why do you care about that? Like, I can't imagine Annabeth sitting there and like consoling Percy and being like, I'm sorry that Clarice is so much better than you and trying to make him feel better about that. Yeah. Instead of like punching him in the throat. Like, <laughs> get your shit together bro like what are you talking about right now you're a poseidon child and you're like crying and whining because another girl at this camp is also capable at her job isn't that a good thing because less people will die why are you upset about that <laughs> let's skip ahead to tyson because i know we've talked about tyson before when we were reading the books um now like seeing his whole character laid out in the whole movie um so yeah they made him a stoner surfer-esque kind of guy um that's kind of the personality type if you've seen any teen movie that's the stereotype he seems to be on even though it's not it's not exactly expressly said it's just like if you've seen the pattern enough you're like oh he's supposed to be a stoner kid um which is a weird way to rewrite somebody who clearly has intellectual disabilities um you know i mean we've we've hit that point enough and um we we did say we wanted someone with intellectual disabilities for tyson the actor i i feel like he looks like a good fit anyway so we will give him a chance mm -hmm. um but yeah like changing that whole aspect of tyson's character was really strange yeah, and I, so the thing with that is, like, the only thing necessarily, like, wrong, wrong with Tyson is the way that he looks. 
And so, like, I don't know why they did that, because everything else, Tyson is how Tyson would be in this movie, but I don't know why he's doing everything that he does in this movie for people who treat him like absolute garbage. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the thing about Tyson in this movie, is he still cares a lot about Percy. He still is wanting to be his brother. He's still wanting to help everybody. They make him, like, save not Percy when the when the like the bull attacks which whatever but other than that everything else he does in the movie he's like trying to help percy and trying to be a good brother and wants to be like a nice person and like a nice monster and not do like all the stuff the book version of tyson does but percy is an absolute asshole to him and that i felt like i was watching like younger me who used to get treated horribly by the quote unquote friends that I had when I was in middle school, especially, and would like do all these things for them because I was so desperate for like a friend while they treated me like garbage. Like I was like, he does all of this stuff for you and you hate him. Like when I watched it, I was like, do people like have people like projected movie Percy onto like book Percy? Is this why so many people say that book Percy is like mean to Tyson when book Percy never is because movie Percy is horrible to him. Yeah. He like talks to him like he can't stand him. Like he's, it's like how people talk to you when they're embarrassed to be around you and you won't, and they, and you won't get the hint to like go away and leave them alone. That's mm -hmm. every time he talks to him for the majority of the entire movie. And so, like, I'm like, Tyson is great, but he needs to be free of these people. And yeah. so it's like, I'm just like, none, most of the storylines that happen in the movie don't make any sense. Because, like, they do the whole storyline of, um, or at least they try to, of, like, him and Annabeth. But I'm like, you don't need to have an entire storyline about why she's being so mean to Tyson, because everyone is mean to Tyson. Yeah. Like, Everybody is horrible to him. It doesn't even stand out in this movie because yeah. Percy and Grover and Clarice and everyone at camp treats him the exact same way that Annabeth would. So there's like nothing like it feels weird for Percy to be like, oh, why don't you like him? And I was like, why don't you like him? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the show handles that, because from what we read, it seems like all of the mean to Tyson stuff is in Percy's head. It's stuff that he says after interactions with, with Tyson or like while somebody else is talking about Tyson, he's like, well, I think these things too, but I'm not going to say them out loud. Um, it's very much that kind of vibe of he's almost mean to himself in the books because he's like, why do I feel these things? Tyson didn't do anything wrong. Tyson's a little sweet child. Like, um, you know, he, he very much understands that what he says and does affects Tyson very much. Um, and yeah, like, I, I feel like because we, we do get the beginning narration in the movie, but we get that taken away. Maybe that's why he seems meaner to Tyson in the, like, that's why they made him meaner to Tyson in the plot. The show also doesn't do narration, but I I can see them playing the conflict that um, Walker's Percy has differently, for sure. It's just kind of hard to imagine how they'll do that. Maybe they'll have him confide in just one person, or I, I don't know. Like, Yeah, well, like the whole thing with like book Percy that I'm imagining will happen with Walker's version of Percy is like he has no problem with Tyson, but everyone else is being so horrible to him because of Tyson. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's more of this idea that like camp is supposed to be this place that he feels accepted mm -hmm. and like understood and in a way that he never has before. And then he comes back and because Tyson's with him, suddenly everyone is treating him like he would be every day when he was at school. And he's yeah. back to like being bullied by everyone and not having any friends. And so there is a way a clear, like a good way to show that whole thing on screen of like being mad at the people that are bullying him and, and bullying Tyson 
and standing up for him the way that he does all the time, but also being like stressed out about it or like not understanding like why it's happening, um, especially because of the fact that Poseidon never talks to him. And so he doesn't understand what his dad is doing. And he's like, why would you send a, like a monster to camp with me when you know that this is how camp would respond to something like that? Like, so that's very a very understandable thing because that is hard to like be the kid that's bullied all the time and then getting a break from that and then ending up in that position in a new place. It's like, you just, you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> and that's yeah. and that's basically what he feels. Like the mo this movie, like from the very start, the first time he sees Tyson, he is like, oh, you're gross. Yeah. I don't Everyone want to treat him with disgust, it feels like. Disgust is more the word that I would yeah. use rather than like, yeah. it's more contempt in the books. It's more like, oh, we don't want a Cyclops around here. And um, less so the disgust that he is with Cyclops. Yeah, I was like, you're, ew. I really don't like you. And especially like, even when they leave to like, go on to the stupid way that they like break out of camp which is not even breaking out of camp because people literally see them breaking out of camp and they just like don't do anything about it but when they decide to do that like from what i remember like tyson is just kind of going along with them they don't want him to go and like tyson or tyson um percy and, and grover and stuff don't even want him to come mm -hmm. and it's but they decide to have him come because they are like oh the he, he has to like argue on his own behalf. Mm -hmm. He's like, oh, Polythemus is on the island with with um with the Golden Fleece, and he's like one of me, and so you should bring me because I I will know how to deal with him. Yeah, they're like fine, but it's like <sighs> this is just so wrong that you read the book that these books were based this book was based on and turned Tyson into basically the disabled kid that's being bullied by people that he thinks are his friends and he doesn't realize that they can't stand being around him.